This video will cover part booleans. Part booleans are a combination of part design and assembly design and are used to create tools, dies, molds, and parts from existing parts. Designs change frequently during the creation process. Parts are often substituted during the course of a project for cost, fit, or function reasons. Part booleans can streamline the process of changing these parts and often eliminate the need to replace parts. You can use the design boolean features to model parts for special applications such as packaging and mold design. This is accomplished by using a tool, a collection of other parts or assemblies, to modify blank, the current part. The creation of a boolean is done in a special workplace called the Design Boolean Editor environment. Upon selecting a design boolean feature, the blank part workspace transforms into the Design Boolean Editor environment. This special workspace exists within a part workspace, but resembles an assembly workspace regarding toolbars and options. Inside the editor environment, you will create a dedicated assembly that contains the blank part and the tool or tools constrained as required for modifying the design. The Boolean feature is parametrically related to the tool part. Therefore, if the tool is modified and saved, the Boolean feature will upgrade upon reopening. You can also modify the dedicated assembly that contains the blank and the tool. There are two ways to exit the editor environment. You can commit or discard the Boolean feature. Once you choose one of these options, the workspace is transformed back into the blank part workspace. Although the Boolean Unite, Subtract, and Intersect features are different in the end result, the steps used to create them are identical. Boolean Unite adds tool material to the blank part material. Boolean subtract removes tool material from the blank part material. Boolean intersect shows the material within the overlap of the tool material and the blank part material. Here's a look at some of the steps in the Boolean process of designing the faceplate for a cell phone. We need a part to modify that will serve as the blank, so the blank part, a rectangular plate, has been opened. We'll use the Boolean Union feature to make a single part out of the blank and a phone detail definition part that will serve as the tool. On the Part Modeling ribbon, the Boolean Union feature is selected. Now the Phone Detail Definition Part file is selected as the tool and the Open button is clicked. At this point, the Assembly Workspace features appear to provide a means of assembling the blank and tool with precision using assembly constraints. The blank was previously positioned two inches from the Z-plane, so the Z-axis could be used to constrain the center of the microphone area to the Z-axis using the center hole as shown here. Once this is accomplished, the two faces are brought together with an align constraint. Now the commit icon is clicked to complete this Boolean assembly, resulting in the Boolean union assembly, which functions as a single part. You can think of this resulting part as a welded assembly. This completed assembly will itself become a tool in the next step. Another blank part is created, and this time the Boolean Subtract feature is selected. The part file that was just completed is selected as the tool. The Quick Assembly Constraint feature is used here to align the edge of both plates and bring their facing surfaces together. Once these parts are properly aligned, the Accept icon is clicked. The Boolean Subtract feature has subtracted all the material in the blank that was occupying the same space as the tool. You machinists out there can think of this as an EDM process with the tool serving as the electrode. Now we'll run one more Boolean subtraction process. This time the blank part is a previously made part that is a replica of the completed phone faceplate without the features such as the buttonholes in it. These features will be placed in this blank by subtracting the previously made Boolean part from it. As done before, the Boolean Subtract feature is selected and the part acting as the tool is brought into the workspace, which has once again temporarily transformed into an assembly workspace to facilitate the process of positioning the blank and tool together. The Quick Constraint feature is used to first align the radius edges and then align the top flat surfaces. The order and features used during the alignment process do not matter as long as the required alignment is achieved. 
Once everything is properly aligned, the Accept icon is clicked and the Boolean assembly is completed. The features have been subtracted from the blank shell resulting in the finished part. Here's an alternative method for achieving the same end result that demonstrates the Boolean intersect feature. The part shell is once again used as the blank, but this time the detailed part that was previously used to create the mold cavity is selected and positioned to occupy the exact same space as the blank shell. The quick constraint feature is used to align the top edges and then the radius faces. Once the alignment is completed, the accept icon is clicked to complete the process. Notice that the only remaining material is that which was shared by the blank and tool. This shared space was the intersection of these two objects, hence the term Boolean intersection. This method can be a real time saver in the right situation. As you go about the design process, try to think of ways in which the Boolean features can be utilized. This video covered the use of the Boolean union, subtract, and intersect features in the design process. You learned that the part being modified by the Boolean process is referred as the blank while a previously saved and closed part or assembly, referred to as the tool, can be brought into the workspace for these operations. The workspace will automatically switch to assembly mode to facilitate the alignment of the parts. The resulting Boolean assembly acts as a single part while retaining a list of the parts involved in the Design Explorer. This parametric link to the original parts means that any changes made to the tool will be reflected in the Boolean assembly when this assembly is reopened. Changes can also be made directly to the Boolean assembly as well. Things to remember. If the Boolean part is transferred to a new file location, both parts, the blank and the tool, need to be transferred together to maintain the Boolean link. You can turn on reference geometry for the parts that are inserted. And if the inserted part changes, then the main part will also update once it's reopened.